So you're saying if God existed and you disagreed with his commands, you wouldn't? Yeah, of course. You would, you would go your own way? Of course. Okay. God, God gives you the free will to do that. But is that a rational position? So um, I'm curious to know what definition of atheist you're using. As you know, there's probably like different definitions that people use when they use the atheist label. Mm -hmm. uh, when you say that uh, you don't have enough faith to be an atheist, mm -hmm. which definition are you using? Well, the title is playing off the traditional sort of, uh, sort of definition that people think faith means. Faith, they think, means when you don't have any evidence, you just believe it blindly. Mm -hmm. That's what the title is using. But that's not the definition of faith. The real definition of faith is trusting in what you have good evidence to believe. Yeah. So we're just playing off a title. So mm -hmm. traditionally, atheists have said, I believe there is no God. There are some atheists now saying, oh, I just lack a belief in God. Yeah. And I just think that's a cop out and it doesn't say anything about the real world. It says something about the atheist psychological state, but it's not saying anything about whether or not God exists. Mm. So I, I don't think that's a good definition of atheism. Yeah. So I'm, I am one of those atheists that would say I lack belief. I'm not, I'm not willing to say I know there's no God. Am I exercising faith? Would you say? Well, let me ask the question this way then. Here's the proposition. God exists. Do you agree with that proposition? Do you disagree with that proposition or do you not know? I don't know. Okay, so you're an agnostic then. I'm an agnostic atheist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. agnostic. You don't know. Yeah. An atheist would be someone who says, I'm pretty sure there's no God. An agnostic says, I don't know, could in be, the, maybe not. I don't know if follow-ups are allowed, but in the book, you, yeah, you acknowledge that there's, um, that there's not perfect evidence, like there's not enough evidence to be perfectly sure there's a God, um, but but you're still justified in being theist because there's enough evidence. Yeah. So that would be an agnostic theist, right? Somebody who's, who doesn't know but believes, would you allow the same for an atheist to say, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not convinced that a God exists, but I'm not saying that I know there's not. Well, I think the preponderance of the evidence beyond for me a reasonable doubt is that God exists. Could I be wrong? Of course I could be wrong. This could be, we could be in the matrix, right? There's no way in knowing we're not in the matrix. You got to get outside the matrix to know that. Now, I just think that's silly, but it's possible. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you then, if historic Orthodox Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? Uh, define Christian. <laughs> like, like Following what I... Jesus's commands and trusting in him for your salvation. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Yeah. Uh, I would say it would, I, I would need more, more information. I would become. No, if it were true. Yeah, if, well, I'm saying it, it, then it would depend on what his commands are, whether I agreed with them. So I don't think it's... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So you're saying if God existed and you disagreed with his commands, you wouldn't... Yeah, of course. You would, you would go your own way? Of course. Okay, God, God gives you the free will to do that. But is that a rational position? I think so. Why? How? Um, as a hypothetical, if he asked me to murder... Uh, my son, uh, I wouldn't do it. Okay. And? So I, th I think that's rational to disobey if he asked me to do something. But if I you knew consider. it was God? Yeah, even if I knew it was God. And you knew that God could resurrect your son? Yep. See, the whole Abraham thing is a foreshadowing of Jesus on the same mountain, Mount Moriah. Mm -hmm. And God stops Abraham, but he doesn't stop... Jesus from being killed because Jesus is the sacrifice. He's the lamb. Mm -hmm. But is God going to ask you to kill your son? No, it's, it's just a hypothetical. Yeah, I'm no, just using it as but a, Given where we are yeah. now, we're past all the revelation in that yeah. regard. Yeah. If it were really true that Jesus is the Savior and loves you and wants to have a love relationship with you, would you enter that love relationship and accept what he's done? Um, again, I think that, uh, it, it, I mean, I need more information about whether, like what he's asking you to do and whether I agree with it, but I, I, I would of course believe in God if I was presented with enough evidence. Okay. To so if I gave me. you a book, would you read it? Cause so. he already has one. What, the, the book, <laughs> this, this book, I've, this book, yeah, yeah or, I've read it or yeah. stealing from God. Uh, I, I've read this one. I haven't read Stealing from God. Right. I'd be willing to. If I gave it to you? Challenge accepted. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Uh, if you go in the back, yeah, go back and see uh, Riley back there. He'll give you one. Okay, sounds hey, good. Hey, thanks for coming, man. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it.